I mean, a case which drew international attention, 10 Muslim students have been found guilty in the UC Irvine free speech trial. The 10 were charged with disrupting a speech by the Israeli ambassador. And now with his news reporter Leticia Juarez joins us live at the Santa Ana Courthouse with a reaction. Leticia? We're here outside that Santa Ana courthouse where some of the defendants, their attorneys and supporters remain after just giving a brief press, press conference to the media here. They were found guilty and for that they received three years probation and also 56 hours of community service. What we're told is that this First Amendment case, the district attorney says, draws a line in the sand between censorship and freedom of speech. Guilty of the crime of conspiracy to commit a crime. Gas from the audience reacting in the courtroom after all 10 of the men known as the Irvine 11 were found guilty. The University of California, Irvine and UC Riverside students are all members of the Muslim Student Union. Last February, they staged a protest aimed at disrupting the speech of the Israeli ambassador to the U.S. during a visit to the UCI campus. As a person who spent much of his life speaking Hebrew... Michael Oren, propagating murder is not an expression of free speech. Shortly after the verdict was read, supporters left the courtroom in anger and shock. Community activists gathered to voice their belief. The verdict was the result of growing Islamophobia in Orange County and across the U.S. We will not be defeated by Islamophobia. We are, we are citizens of the United States and we expect to be treated with equality regardless of our race or religion. We are no different than anybody else. I hope that America will not allow the death of democracy but will give life to dissent. The defendants observe midday prayer outside the courthouse before heading back in to learn their sentences. Afterwards, District Attorney Tony Rakakis said the case, which has attracted international attention, was not about religion, but about the rule of law as it applies to freedom of speech. We can't allow a group of people to shut down the free speech of our society. We can't allow them to use the heckler's veto now, the Jewish Federation, which sponsored that February event, says while we accept the right and requirement of public institution to provide an unfettered forum for diverse points of view, we do not nor will ever support hate speech. The verdict reaffirms that the Muslim Student Union's planned and systematic use of disruption to trample on the free speech of others cross the moral, social, and intellectual line of civility and tolerance. Now, we did speak with the defendant's civil rights attorney, and he told us just a moment ago that they plan on appealing this conviction. Reporting live in Santa Ana, Leticia Juarez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Leticia, thank you. High drama at the UN today. Palestine